Hi everybody, I am Donna Frasca, one of the moderators for the interior design community on G+. We have a very casual Friday today. Um, Lori, both Lori and James, our other two monitors, our moderators, are out and about being very busy people. So today we're going to keep it casual and chit chat and I have a special guest. Um, my guest today is Neil Parsons. Am I just pronouncing that right, Neil? Yes, correct. Okay. So we have, um, again, like I said, it's casual, so we have a few subjects to talk about. Um, some very exciting events going on in my world of color, uh, which Neil will touch uh, base with in a few minutes. Um, but again, uh, I just want to say hello to everybody, and this is the first time I'm doing it. I uh, hang out by myself, so I'm probably sure I'm doing something wrong. But um, again, if you're not able to join us live, uh, of course, we'll be uploading to YouTube later, and I'll provide the link for that on our community hangout. All right, Neil, so how are you today? Uh, very good. Uh, busy, but a good busy. Yeah, a good busy, right? Well, thank you for, for joining us on this one-on-one -on -one chit chat on Casual Friday um, on the uh, longest day of the year, summer, the 21st, right? Yes. I think they say every after every night after today we lose a minute and start going towards fall. <laughs> so they say. Okay, so. so um first thing I'd like to chat about is uh something that I'm going to be adding to our interior design community. Um and it's called color quickies. Um what is a color quickie? It's going to be um mini hangouts about probably no more than ten minutes where I will speak to other business owners about their business, um, anything that they want to talk about for 10 minutes, and how color is in their designs, incorporated into the designs and in their um, business. Um, so it's really a great, and of course you have links to YouTube and through uh, for the Hangout, so it's really a good promotional tool for your business. Um, Monday, I think I start um, at 10 a.m. Again, I'll post links for that later. Um, it's going to be with Susan, Sarah, and I have about five or six people already on the waiting list. So if you want to do a color quickie with me, um, you know where to reach me on the interior design community on G+. So Neil, um, there's something very exciting that you and I would like to talk about, but since I just got done speaking, why don't you tell us what's going on? No, I'll, be glad, I'll be glad to. Um, Don and I have created a strategic alliance. Uh, we both are in the design aspect of the construction business. My company does project design and development for homeowners um, planning a either a new construction project or a remodel on their home and I've uh, from afar distance wise but virtually very close I've admired Donna and her work as she does a fabulous job on coordinating colors and designs uh, for projects that she works on uh, for about the past year. We've chatted back and forth. Uh, I followed her stuff, she's followed our stuff, and it seems to be a good match to add Donna to some of our projects where she'll help or lend her expertise in putting the colors uh, together as we work on the construction aspect of the design. Now, um, in case you know, people are, are, are scratching their heads right now because I'm in North Carolina and Neil, you're in what part of New Jersey? I'm at the Jersey Shore, Tom's River, New Jersey. Okay, so of course we're doing this virtually, which I just love virtual design. I do it all the time. Uh, the world is flat when it comes to color and design, which is, which is just amazing. Um, Neil, do you have any projects that you're currently working on? I think I, I, I saw briefly on, on Facebook you were working on a bonus room. You had a rendering of, of, of a bonus room that you're working on? Yes, we have a project right now which will be presenting the design and development to the client uh, on Sunday, as a matter of fact. And we're wrapping up the designs now. And, and what it is, it's a young couple in a large house, a very nice house, but they do have a bonus room on the side. Uh, which is not being used and it's not finished, not decorated, and they wanted to uh, make it a wow room, make it a uh, man slash woman cave uh, by adding a wet bar, a fireplace, um, a gaming table, a wine room. That sounds cool. like a very large project. Um, now, who designed the um, the colors and uh, and the color palette for that for that job? Uh, on this particular job, we've uh, 
the client gave us uh, their idea book from house on rooms and styles that they like they fill out some of our profile information so what we do on the on our first four array is we create three designs for them like a good better best um, uh, a modest to a uh, most likely to a uh, wish list and we try to incorporate some different colors and different features and options in each of the three this way even if they choose to go uh, for the middle one but they like the colors in the modest one, uh, we can mix and match going on to the uh, to the final designs. You know, House is such an amazing tool for for designers. I know that um, uh, I have a lot of clients that find me on House. Um, they say, "Oh, I saw your designs, and you know, can you please help me with color?" Um, or it works vice versa. If I do have a client, um, I would say, especially a virtual client, um, I would say, "Do you have any idea books?" On house that you can send to me so I know the feel of the design or the look that you want in your home um, and of course they send me <laughs> between 40 and 50 uh, pictures so by the end of 10 minutes of viewing their their photographs on house they have a really good idea of the color direction they want to go on so it, it's really a very very useful tool um, now the clients that you have are they are they virtual or are they mostly local yeah. Well, in, in New Jersey, uh, we're in New Jersey Plus, we're able to meet uh, the clients face to face. Um, but we also offer a virtual remote service, and we do it two different ways. Uh, we just finished a project design for a, a family looking to do a large remodel up in Massachusetts. And with that, we didn't go to Massachusetts to meet the people or measure the job. They sent us the approximate measurements. Uh, various pictures, their wish list pictures from How's the Idea Book, uh, filled out our checklist, and then we did a couple web meetings back and forth as we developed the designs. We created the design presentation book and sent it out to them. Nice. And um, how long did you say you're in business for? Well, I've been in the remodeling industry for over 30 years. Uh, design Build Profit and Design Build Pros, uh, our company, which is now dedicated to this design and development work with no actual physical work that's done by my select remodelers that I associate with. We've been doing this for four years now. Nice. You know what, actually your background is very similar to mine. Um, I've been uh, in the decorating design field, uh, well, straight out of high school um, for uh, 30, 30 years <laughs> also. Um, but since I moved here to uh, Charlotte, North Carolina in 2007 is when I decided to specialize in just color. So, um, yeah, it's a long time to be doing color and design, mm. which, which makes us experts in our field, right? Well, um, when you have a passion for something, it's not like really going to work. It's pretty yeah. easy. And I'm so glad I work from home because I do this 24-7. You know, it's like, okay, let's see, what kind of design? Well, let me just run to the office and, uh, do you have a home office too? Is that is that where you're located right now? Yes, I'm sitting, this is bedroom number four in the house. This has been set up as a home office for a while now. Nice. Um, if you'd like to adjust the color in that office, just you know, let me know. I can help you with that. <laughs> well, well, soon I, I, I got an eviction notice from, uh, from my better half. I think I'm being evicted to creating a uh, office in the basement. Well... <laughs> You can just use a brighter color in the basement. Um, I was recently published uh, this in this month issue, uh, this month's issue of Stir Magazine by Sharon Williams. Um, I was talking about um, designing colors for uh, small spaces at the home, uh, dark spaces such as basements, or um, you know the the small bathroom that you have in the house that has no windows. So just because you have a basement office doesn't mean you can ha can't have an amazing color. Don't choose white. <laughs> You know, it's funny, I should talk, my, my wall behind me is beige, um, but the rest of the walls are like a paprika color, which is why my, my face always looks kind of orange, because it's reflecting um, onto me. Uh, so I need to repaint my office. Um, but I have this wall beige, because that's where I do my work. I need like a neutral background in order to um, be able to see all the colors that I'm designing on, designing with. So um, did you say that you work with your brother, um, Jason? Is his name? Yes. Yes, we work. Uh, my brother and I work in tandem on the projects, and he lives. He lives about an hour and fifteen minutes from me, so our collaboration is virtual all the time. Uh, matter of fact, I only see him probably physically you know, once every couple of weeks. Uh, but we have an interesting dynamic working together. He has a similar 
uh, path and background as me, but he is almost to the day 15 years younger than me. Oh. So that works out quite well when we're doing the designs because while uh, my son is uh, in college now, he's just, uh, just finished his sophomore year in college, my brother Jason's three sons are four, five, and seven. So when we talk about redesigning a space or creating a new space for a homeowner, regardless of the age of the homeowner, one of us will have relevance closer to their age, but we'll also talk about the transition of that space. So if it is a younger couple, obviously my brother will have more current relevance for the family use of that, but then I can talk about planning for as the family gets older and they move towards being empty nesters. Or vice versa, if we have an older couple, we want to talk about making it universally sound uh, for the next potential owners of the house. Yeah, well that makes sense. I mean, sometimes when I design uh, color schemes for teens room, a, a teen, um, I would seek the advice of my daughter who's 17 and say, hey, you know, what colors do you like these days, you know? Um, and she would just rattle off a whole bunch of them. I was like, oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I got this. Um, yeah, well, going back to um, how I'm going to be incorporated into your um, business, which is uh, Design Build Pros. Um, again, this is so new. You just approached me, what, just a few days ago? Right. right? Mm -hmm. And um, although, actually, it originally was, what, about a year ago when you, you first approached me, if I can remember correctly, um, asking about... Um, somehow if I could help, you know, with, with color and design and business. But the timing just wasn't right. I was swamped with work and social media was not at where it is today. Thank God for uh, Google Plus and the Hangouts and it's really made virtual and design work so much easier with the Google documents and screen shares and, and uh, all the tools, which, which yes. really help a lot. But, um, yeah, you know how they say timing is everything? Do you remember last year when you, we exchanged a few emails about and it yes. just never, never materialized because the, the, again, the timing just was not, not right. Um, but I'm super excited to be working with you and, and the rest of your team. Um, again, to chat about that a little bit, um, uh, like anything else in design, there's different, different levels. Um, and I think that we briefly touched on um, three levels of um, color expertise or advice that I would be able to offer. Uh, which is nice for like starting at level one where some people would just want maybe just a few color choices um, you know for for a room up until you know the highest level where um, I could also provide uh, some guidance as far as uh, granite choices of flooring uh, hardware because um, again also I have a degree in interior decorating and design which I love too but like I said before just like the last few years I decided just to specialize in color but so much fun to do this online, you know, and virtually. Uh, do most of the people um, ask for just color palettes or um, entire, um, you know, uh, also um, products as far as uh, like granite and, and lighting? Oh, did we did we lose you, Neil? I think we did. Uh oh. Oh, okay. I think I think we had lost Neil. Hopefully that he comes back. Uh, back soon. Yeah, I think we lost him. Okay, well, um, hmm, maybe we'll have a super quick uh, chat today, which is just 15 minutes. Let me see if I can get Neil back. Neil, can you hear us? Okay. Um, all right, well, ladies, I guess this is going to be a, a very short uh, hangout today on the interior design community on G+. And I apologize for that, but you know, these things happen. Um, again, uh, this is, again, a brief uh, hangout. Um, I will upload it to YouTube for those of you who are not able to participate. Um, if you are interested in hearing more about the uh, color quickies that I'm going to offer on the community, please just let me know. Um, you can send me an email. And um, I can just put you on the list, and we're going to promote you and your business. And again, see how color um, is incorporated into your um, everyday work or business. Um, again, um, I'm Donna Frasca, one of the moderators today on the interior design community. And uh, we'll see you next Friday when hopefully everybody here and a full panel will be here to join in on the conversation. Have a good day, everybody, and we'll see you next week.